Hi everyone. I will speak about marriage today and throughout the week because in this week's Torah portion we read of the first marriage which was well the first marriage that is described in the Bible between Isaac and Rebecca how it came about. Uh, the Zohar tells us that the first time something is mentioned in the Bible that's the headquarters. So for example we have the first dream many people think that that is Joseph's dream or dreams in fact when he came to his brothers in Shechem um, they say of him Hine behold the dreamer comes but um, he was not that's not the first dream the first dream was actually the one of Avimelech when God appeared to him in a dream uh, in last week's Torah portion and then there's the first kiss the first kiss is uh, that uh. to um, Rebecca uh, to uh, Isaac gave to Jacob before he blessed him and then we're told that that kiss was transmitted from Jacob to Rachel when he met her at the well and in this week's Torah portion we have the first marriage uh, well the one as I said it's not the first marriage because there were married couples before this but the first articulation of how a marriage took place when we meet Adam and Chava Adam and Eve they are actually married in fact they created originally as one being that was separated facing in different directions uh, the mystics tell us that's also a big teaching about marriage because uh, we're told we all, we all think we're getting married punim but punim face to face but uh, in actuality we are all back to back and much of the struggle of a marriage is turning around to face each other to really see each other in the relationship and then you can become one entity uh, but we don't read about their marriage of course uh, Abraham and Sarah were introduced to them as a married couple at the end of the Torah portion of Noah I think Rashi tells us who uh, Sarah was or who Yiska was uh, Sarah had another name Yiska which has to do with her beauty and her royalty Anyway, so we're not introduced to them as married couples. The first time we read about people finding each other is in this week's Torah portion. And um, we're told, Matzah Isha, Matzah Tov, one who has found a wife has found goodness. Uh, and that uh, it's a man has to, uh, actually it's a man who has to get married a woman doesn't have the obligation. I wrote about that in a series of very long posts on my blog. Uh, I can't remember. I think it was the Torah portion of Noah actually. When I wrote about the difference between uh, men and women apropos their missions in life. Anyway, so I'm thinking about marriage and, you know, in my work, I, I deal with so many challenges in my own life. I've had to really work through marital issues in a deep way. <laughs> My husband gave me permission to share things uh, quite openly. I actually said to him when I first got married, I'd go to these lectures and people would be speaking about Shalom Bai, peace in the home. And uh, it was as if it, there was a hypothetical possibility of there being discord. Like, you know, let's say you and your husband have a challenge I'm like well yeah let's say <laughs> that's my reality we have challenges it's not hypothetical and then and then the speaker would invariably think about what uh, you know what can we think of what what example can I give I'm sitting there on the end, edge of my seat and and then just say let's say he doesn't put his socks in the hamper and I'm thinking well, come on get real like if my problem was that my husband didn't put his socks in the in the hamper I'd be a happy camper that those are not my issues so I think that all of us struggle and 
it is it is a spiritual work to create a marriage that is deep and holy uh, doesn't always follow the trajectory that we think it would but at the end of the day we find or as life progresses we find we've moved from that state of back to back achar ba'achar to panim ba'panim face to face so what I want to put out there on today's walk just with that as a backdrop is uh, an invitation that you ask questions post your questions here and I'll try during the week on my walks to um to answer some of them or share your thoughts about marriage and life and purpose all right thanks for joining me on my morning walk have a great day everyone bye